What is up guys, Matthew here and welcome back to another episode of our FIFA 21 career mode with the mighty Borough and today we are coming towards the end of the season into April now with two more games in the championship, Luton at home, Bournemouth away, six games to go now which means pretty much three episodes and we are at the end of the season and it looks like our season will not be ending there, the playoffs is looking good for us after our fine form continues. A good win in the last episode puts us up to fifth. And we're now eight points clear of Birmingham. So we're placing the playoffs is looking very, very good indeed. And if anything, we're starting to look above that now as Brentford play Forest next. So if we can beat Luton, we're going to gain points on one of them, if not both of them. So this is going to be another huge episode. Then after that, we head to Bournemouth away from home, which will be the latest huge test in keeping our unbeaten run going. And um, yeah, I think by the time we play Bournemouth, we might actually guarantee Watford promotion or the title if we beat Bournemouth. So uh, that we, we could play a part in the title race as well. But uh, before we get there, let's, uh, let's host a team who are also fighting for something pretty huge at the moment, and that is their championship lives. Uh, Luton Town, six points clear. A win for them would be absolutely massive as well. So let's get to it. Doing well on the edge of the area to keep the ball and try and build up an attack here. Here is Collins. Hall's blocked it. But, oh, I was going to say he is offside and the referee pulls, pulls him back for the booking. I'd like to see the offside again. I don't think we're going to see it, but yeah, James is... Uh, sorry, Collins' shot was blocked. And uh, luckily the player who picked it up was in an offside position and it's a good job because we'd have been 1-0 down. Tavernier, good ball. ball into Akpom. Turns the defender. Can't wrap his foot around it enough. And his shot is straight at the goalkeeper, although the rushed clearance by the keeper is not a good one. Well anticipated by Grant Hall there, who was defending high up the pitch. Roberts finds Saville, who finds Tav, who finds the roof of the net. Good goal for Tav, who struggled in front of goal recently. Well, that was a lovely bit of football. And a great finish into the roof of the net. Well, we'll see it again now. Was he aiming high? Pretty much looks like it to me. Leaning back slightly, he knows the yeah, ball's going to Yeah, beautiful go stuff. Great ball. ball from Saville. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different Tavernier angle. just backed into the defender. And finished right into the roof of the net. And that's our first real big chance of the game. And it's our first goal. 1-0. Sav releasing, Sav releasing Tav, oh, and Tavernier now playing in Tuber Akpom up against Sonny Bradley, Akpom turns on his right foot, and forces the save. Well, I yeah, would have rather Tuber in for the well, far corner there, but... Every ball in that technical area, they've been good up to now, but it's still fine margins. The corner in a game that's had few clear cut chances. Cross comes in. Marcy volleys it back in. Comes out to Saville, whose shot is blocked. And they might counter attack here as Cornick should try and take advantage of Coulson being on a yellow card because uh, we need to be careful. <laughs> oh, and that ball forward bounces off his head now to play. Collins plays out Cornick, who's got a bit of room here. Hall stands him up. Coulson with a block. Oh, Tav's header is only as far as another Luton player. And oh, what a big block from Tamari. As Luton are playing into some difficult areas here. They come again. Collins. Tamari is there again. Two huge blocks by our centre-back. 
who might just keep us in the lead. Or might not here as Luton have come to life here in this end of the first half and they've hit the post. Well, I don't know where this has come from. We just want the half-time whistle. Cross comes in, but Anelli punches. Coulson still can't clear it, ref. Blow the whistle. Tomori heads clear again. As we are into the 48th minute. And we survive that late bit of pressure from Luton. And maintain our one goal lead. It's 1-0 at half time. And that man made some huge blocks. In that first half. Thanks very much as always Alan. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well no way through. Oh and Roberts has been hacked down there and has stayed down. And that's a bit of a worry. As Luton continue to play on here. That's a great ball forward. Cornick. Paul blocks it again. And we clear the ball as Roberts is still down. This is a huge worry as Luton are... Well, they're, they're continuing from where they left off as they're in here again. As the deflected shot is blocked, and no, oh, this is not good. I think that was a save from Bettinelli. But now the ball is finally out. Patrick Roberts can get some treatment on this. This is a huge worry. Seemed like just a harmless tackle, but something's gone wrong. For one of our best players. Luton do have the corner, but we are going to have to replace Roberts, who hopefully isn't injured too severely. Lewis Wink is going to have to come in. And fill in quite a big... Fill in quite a big space in this creative position hopefully he's not going to be out for too long with the playoffs not too far away corner though for Luton it's headed clear they've looked so dangerous and we've just looked so shaky Shinny's cross and it can only be punched by Bettinelli in search of the equaliser we've had to make it here's that save again and I tell you what Bettinelli has made another world class save there tipping that onto the post he did it last time against Birmingham and he's done it again they've just been unbelievably dangerous since the end of the first half and they've not gave us a second to breathe another shot there which Never ever seemed like it had the power. And how harsh would this be on loot? And if we could absorb all of their pressure, go up the other end and score. But their keeper makes a save. No matter how much pressure you put us under, we're still capable of catching you out. It would be harsh on Luton if we could get a second goal here, but the corner comes in and Akpom's hit the bar. We've shaken the woodwork now. Another cross comes in. And Luton deal with it this time. Spence and Tamari getting each other's way. Savile! As we now start to apply some of that pressure. Savile with a... Stinging effort, forcing another save out of Sluger. Another corner, looks for Balassi this time. Not as successful as the last one, but comes out to Jed Spence. Paul Balassi, oh, beautiful football, it's into Akpom, and there it is, harsh on Luton, but the quick play in and around the box, look at that from a touch from Balassi, 
And although Tab's ball was initially a bit too hard for Akpom, he managed to react and control it and then volley it past the keeper. Well, there's nothing better for a We've just done done one them one by quality. Total satisfaction. That little touch and flick by Balassi was unbelievable. And that equals Tuba with Fletcher as the top scorer in the league. Balassi's took that down really well. Spencer's on the overlap as we're looking to finish them off with a third and... That's not one Akpom will want to want to remember. It was behind him. He had to sort of lean back and get the power on it. Defender was there. I think he would have expected to get that on target at least, Chuba. Oh, and here they are with Luar Luar in here. He's faced with Tamori. He cuts inside and that... He's not a good there. enough finish. Yeah, opportunity from the short distance. You see the manager's frustration on the touchline. Well, I'd be frustrated That's as that. well. What a great position Luwalawa found himself in there as well. And the shot was oh, such a tame one. What can they do now? And that's the difference between Spence. the two teams, the quality in the final third. And given the defender's touch, as we win another corner. corner. Kazenga Luwalawa. Luwalawa as Newton try and ruin our clean sheet. Can they get in behind them? And it was blocked. There's Tamori, as he always is, in the right place at the right time. Lassie does give them the ball straight back, though as six minutes are added on, but Tamori meets that cross as he meets most of them. Luwalawa. Back in, Collins, great touch. Uh, in fact, it was quite a heavy touch into the hands of Bettinelli. And we will work the clock down, boot the ball clear as we claim another three points and a clean sheet. Well, that was far from easy. And they certainly know where the target is. Lovely, lively build-up and a real sharp cutting edge to this lot. Great entertainment, really enjoyable. You can tell Luton are fighting for their lives because they put up an unbelievable performance. Put us under so much pressure. We had to make some big blocks, big saves. But thankfully it was their lack of quality really that let them down. Whereas some really good goals from us is what got us over the line. And we march on with a solid 2-0 win over Luton. But of course, that win was marred by a knock to Patrick Roberts. And the answer is, how serious is it? Oh, God. Firstly, Aidan Coulson will be out with the suspension, as we know. Patrick Roberts has dislocated his shoulder and will be out for two months. Which means he's out. For the remainder of the season. Oh, that is such a big blow. That is an unbelievable blow for us. Our most creative player is out injured. And we are going to be without Patrick Roberts for the running and for the playoffs. Oh, that is... That could not be timed worse. He is our third highest goal scorer with 17 goals. And if you look at the assists, he is by far the best at assists in the league as well. And we've lost him for two months. And unless he can make a remarkable recovery before the end of the season, that is it. That's the season for Roberts. That is so, so frustrating. And it's going to be Lewis Wing. It's going to be up to him now. Luckily, we've got goals coming in from other directions in the, in, in the team. So I'm hoping that that won't hinder us too much. But we know how many goals and how imperative Roberts has been to us this season. And we're going to have to do it without him now. But as for the league, as we said, 
Forest and Brentford played each other. A draw between them would have been the ideal result for us. Everything else seems to be going our way at this moment in time. And they drew. Brentford won, Nor Nottingham Forest won, which meant that we've leapfrogged both of them into fourth. So we've went from being on the brink of playoffs to solidifying our place in the playoffs to now looking like we might be looking at fourth place, if not higher. We're four points behind Norwich. Seven points behind Bournemouth? No. I mean, if we beat Bournemouth... In the next game, we close the gap to them to four points. There's no way, surely not, there's no way that we can go from looking at the playoffs to maybe sneaking in to the top two. That cannot happen. Or can it? Big game coming up. We play Bournemouth who, let me tell you, have just beaten Watford. And not many teams can say they've done that this season. So the league leaders, the runaway leaders who are on the brink of promotion themselves have been beaten by Bournemouth. So they are on the back. They're going to be full of confidence on the back of a huge win. But they're coming up against arguably the most informed team in the league, which is us. And we are now, what's that, 18 games unbeaten now? So the importance of this game's just hit me. And if we can beat Bournemouth will be four points of automatic promotion. Four points of automatic promotion with four games to go. <sighs> Surely we can't do it. Let's head to the Bournemouth game and find out. So ahead of the Bournemouth game then, this is a huge game. This could turn what looked like just a playoff season into possibly an outside chance at the automatic promotion places which I would never have even began to imagine a couple of episodes back but of course we're gonna have to do it without Patrick Roberts he is out and will be out for the remainder of the season and the rest of the team picks itself um, obviously Colson sorry I didn't even realize Colson cannot play so um, we're going to replace him with Marvin Johnson, who is reverting back to the position he did play very often at the start of the career mode at left back. We've literally not had to replace Coulson hardly ever, um, but we are going to have to replace him in the game today. So, um, yeah, sorry, Mark Bowler. I don't think you've featured at all this season, but yeah, you're going to have another game where you're not going to feature, my friend. Um, so Johnny Housen will come in for him, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm confident we can still continue on without Roberts. We're not a one-man team. Wing will come in and try and fill that void, obviously. That means that um, on the bench, Marcus Brown gets a chance to step up into that alternative or that creative alternative um, with uh, Housen also stepping in for Coulson, who is, um, well, in for Johnson, who's been promoted from the bench up to left back with Coulson out suspended. So, like I said, this game... It's going to be tough. They've just beaten the best team in the league. We're heading to a place where historically Borough have been dreadful at Bournemouth. But um, we could narrow the gap to the automatic promotion places. In fact, they're not even in the automatic promotion places anymore. We're playing on the Sunday. So we're one of the last teams to actually play. I've only just realised that. So Norwich have actually leapfrobbed uh, Bournemouth briefly into second. So, yeah... The gap will still at least be five points with Norwich now jumping in at second. So it's a big game for Bournemouth to reclaim that place just as much as it is for us. So it's all kicking off in the top. Well, I say the top from second down to sixth as Watford have run away with it pretty much. But uh, nevertheless, this is going to be the toughest game we've had in quite a while at a place where we're notoriously terrible. Let's head to the vitality to play Bournemouth. Marcus Tavernier. Tavernier trying to just get a yard on Adam Smith. Loops it in. He succeeds in clearing it. Headed clear only as far as Spence though. Bolassi wins us a corner. And it's well worth considering as we analyze the current standings. If they win this game, then they'll be assured of a playoff spot, Lee. Well, I think they would have looked to the players at the start of the season as a realistic target. I really do. 
One more win and it's box ticked. Well, I didn't know that we were one win away from guaranteeing the playoffs. That is something I didn't realise before the game. So an added incentive for us to not only chase down maybe the team we're playing, but make sure that that playoff place is all but guaranteed. And we've started well. Morsi. Possession again. Oh, and Savile winning it in a good position. A Wing trying to bend Goal one. Keeper the and the keeper with a big He's save for Bournemouth there. Him. Savile pressed high, and Wing with a. Well, he got some whip on that. Well, that's the frustration of a manager right there, watching his players come so close and being powerless to help. Into the of it's the corner. Oh, it's punched. Grant Hall. And it was always going to be a tough ask to score with him from there. It's a really difficult technique, but it's worth a go. He had a go and he failed, but he'll get another chance. To be fair, the keeper was so far out of position, we could have just kept that down and maybe laid it off to someone else and we could have had a shot there. Maybe we just needed to be a bit more composed in that situation. Diego Rico. Oh, Bournemouth have just, they've just kept giving the ball away. They've been really poor by their normal standards. They've dominated the ball, as you can see, and had all the shots, but Bournemouth have the place to create something out of nothing. They keep going for these diagonals, and none of them have worked at all. Lewis Ooh, that's just out of the range. Their defender wing now, plays it out to Jed Spence. He we'll looked for Akpom. Not out of the woods yet. Keeper punches it. And across again. the touchline, so a throw in here. Bournemouth can't keep hold of the ball. They've not strung many passes together in this opening half an hour. Lewis Wing. George Saddle with it. Savile, he's done Jefferson Lerma there. Savile with the shot, and oh, it was dipping. Keeper was backpedalling, but he managed to save it, and again they've gave it straight back to us. Good interception from Morsi, but Tab's not got any support. Luckily, he does find Savile. Tries to return the favour to him, but that was blocked. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Good ball out to David Brooks. Third top scorer in the league, only behind Fletcher and Akpom. Brooks. Which is quite good for someone who's playing on the wing. Billing with it. Billing, Lerma. good ball in. Jefferson Lerma, who shot. I think was blocked by Hall. And that will be it, so a very quiet first half, not much happening at all. I think both teams have cancelled each other out, really. No clear-cut chances either way. Bournemouth have been pretty poor going forward. They've not really done much or offered much attack. And we've just had a lot of possession without really doing much with it ourselves. Both teams have pretty much equaled each other. And it is nil-nil. George Savile with it. Crossing possibilities. But strong defending. Philip Billing. Well, Spence is unlucky that he's Lighters not come away with the ball there. The oh, and they're in here. Gronveld is in, in behind our defence. And it's a goal! It's the first time they've really got him behind. And I don't know what to call him. I'm going to just name him by what's on the back of his shirt. Dan Juma. Gets him behind. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And, and yeah, Spence wasn't there, and it was a simple 1v1. And I, I would say it's against the run of play. We have been better 
but without really hurting Bournemouth. But that guy is one of the top goal scorers in the league and has added another one at his 21st. And Bournemouth lead by one goal to nil. The opening goal of the game there. Backline's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards... We're just trying to well. get through a very strong Bournemouth back, back line and the midfield is... Midfield's unbelievably solid as well. Bolassi. Crossing opportunity. Bolassi struggling to find a way through. Spence playing it sideways to Savile as we're trying to just play our way through. Can Akpon maybe turn one of the defenders? He can, but the shot is blocked. Clearance was a poor one, though, as we'll come again. Oh, and Savile's. Well, that'll be a free kick. More than chopped down there. That's an unbelievable ball to Brooks. Absolutely unbelievable ball. Trying to make it difficult for Johnson, of course. Not in Unse's natural position. He does well enough, though, as the cross is headed away. Dan Juma. Spence can't get a tackle in. The referee's played an advantage. Josh King. David Brooks, good ball into Lerma. And that was quite a poor finish. Finishing like that, it's just terrible. I wouldn't have done that well. Bolassi. Bolassi, what a turn of pace this has been from him. Good ball in as well to Akpom. He waits for Savile. And he was just locked off. As that was our closest opening. Well read by Jed Spence. Akpom, can we get something going here? Wing plays in Tavernier. Marcus Tavernier is in for us here. And what the hell was that? Well, that was... That could not have been a weaker finish from Tav. Shouldn't have maybe went with his right foot. The referee knew that was foul play, As Billing is chopping at the heels of Morsi. Savile and Wing combining well. Here is Lewis Wing. Tackle. Tackled again. Maybe we shouldn't have went with a right-footed finesse given away. with Tav there, but he still should be finishing that a little bit better than what he did. Now Savile. Free kick to Bournemouth. It's this a good one. Oh, what a save! Stanislas I think it was with the volley and that was a point blank save from Bettinelli there it was straight at him to be fair but that would have put the game to bed completely if it had gone in as with five minutes to go we're staring down something we haven't for a very long time and that's a defeat This might just bring us back down to earth a little bit. Over it comes. Corner comes in. Fletcher tries to clear it. Cooper. Doesn't manage to. Cooper. Backpom stands him up. Doesn't want to foul him. Cross comes in. Tamori heads it clear. And now Tavernier. Can we counter attack here? Akpom. That's a good ball over the top to Ashley Fletcher. The angle's against him. Fletcher's shot. Saved. Not a time for cool heads. That could be our last chance. Oh, Stanislas has beaten Diego Rico. Spence to that. The electronic board has been held Four minutes the added on and jeers from the Bournemouth crowd. They're clearly unhappy with the amount of added time. Balassi with a huge interception. Akpom. Oh, and that's an even bigger interception there. We have Tavernier on the overlap. Bournemouth heading to a huge win that would send them back into the automatic promotion places. As for us, it could be our first defeat in 2021, and it is. We've been beaten for the first time. Our unbelievable unbeaten run finally comes to an end at a place where we've always struggled. 
And the automatic promotion hopefuls pull away. Bournemouth beat us by one narrow goal to nil. So, a first defeat since Blackburn. Crazy. Um, did it have anything to do with us not having Coles and not having Roberts? I don't know. We um, we created not as much as we normally would, but still more than Bournemouth. They just got the, the goal when it mattered. We will put Coulson straight back in the team, though, with him as the first choice left back. So what does that do for us then? A win would have definitely guaranteed a playoff place. Um, a defeat still might have, to be honest, depending on what happened elsewhere. Of course, there are four games to go, which means 12 points. And we are 10 a clear of Birmingham, so we're still not in a guaranteed playoff position. What that win for Bournemouth does do, though, is it ensures for them that the gap to us is 10 points and not, I think, 4 is what it could have been. So, um, yeah, we had a brief... A brief brush with, with hopes of an automatic promotion place there, but I think with four games to go now, ten points, that is now looking out of the question. So um, I think it's a case of us just solidifying our place in the playoffs and uh, seeing where we finish and who we come up against, um, as we're still not mathematically guaranteed, but um, we're, we're near enough there. We're more comfortable than Brentford are anyway. Um, so, our first defeat then, that's a little bit of a bit frustrating really, but it was always going to come, and we were away to the team who was second in the league, who'd just also beaten Watford, so as it stands, four games to go, and we are literally one win off solidifying that position in the playoffs, and then it's a case of probably fighting for fourth, um, Norwich have stretched that gap a little bit, um, at the moment and actually play Brentford next so all the teams around us are playing each other but um, Norwich are looking pretty good um, they might even challenge Bournemouth for that second uh, automatic promotion place so I think it's between us and Forest for fourth um, and then obviously Brentford will be looking to get up to fifth maybe even fourth themselves so it'll be interesting to see where we all finish come the end of the season only four games left though now we've got Rotherham and Forest in the next episode before finishing at Huddersfield and at home to Reading with of course the playoffs then we'd assume follow but if you've enjoyed this episode as always guys hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, yeah feel free to leave any sort of comments in the section below and we'll be back in the next episode the penultimate episode for the season at least before the playoffs with Rotherham and Forest but until then thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time up the